guys, make sure you stay tuned because I'm going to be telling you how to maximize fat loss. Well, if I spit on the tune, I'll boss it. What's going on guys, Cam Green Fitness here and I'm back with a brand new video, this time focusing on fat loss. So first of all, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and leave this video with a like. So the most important thing to remember with fat loss is being in a calorie deficit. And I don't mean starving your body, I mean just being in a slight calorie deficit so that you're consuming less calories than you're burning day to day. So a healthy way to think of fat is that it's just stored energy and we need to find a way to release that energy and gradually drop our body fat percentages. But this is where the calorie deficit comes into play and this is why companies such as Slimming World and Weight Watchers are actually quite effective because essentially they're just putting you in a calorie deficit apart from with them you have to pay for it. But also with companies like Weight Watchers and Slimming World, they don't actually teach you a lot about the diet. They give you sins, which I think is an unhealthy way of thinking about foods. All that's needed is basic and very slight lifestyle changes. So my first big target for you would be to fill out a food diary for the week. Then we can highlight areas where maybe we're slipping up, maybe we're consuming more calories than we think. And then in the future, we know which areas of the day or the week we need to put more attention into in concerns your diet. A big thing with the food diary is highlighting your weaknesses and seeing whereabouts you're going wrong. Because a lot of people don't take into account the snacks, the alcohol, uh, the odd biscuit every now and again. And that can actually negatively impact you because it could be slightly taking you over your calorie deficit into a calorie surplus. And when we're trying to burn fat, we don't want that. And the reason I say do a food diary just for a week is because it's not really sustainable. Just like with my clients, I won't set specific macro targets just because it's not sustainable after. If I tell you not to eat a piece of food, what's the first thing you're gonna wanna do? You're gonna wanna go to that food and you're gonna wanna eat it. So I like adapting plans around your favorite food, but it just might mean compensating in some other way, whether that's less calories throughout the day, less calories throughout the week, whatever it is to adapt to your lifestyle. When I'm dropping down my body fat, I still like to include my cheesecake and my flapjacks. They're like my guilty pleasure, and no matter what, I just can't stop eating them. So it just means throughout the day, I'm gonna have to compensate through that, maybe reduce my calories, just so the additional calories I'm getting in through the cheesecake and flapjack, I'm still gonna remain in that calorie deficit. A big thing for a lot of people with fat loss also it's been nice and strict Monday to Friday but as soon as it comes to Saturday and Sunday just because it's a weekend they let go on the diet a little bit and overall for the week that could put them in a calorie surplus if they binge on the weekend so it's about being nice and organized and if you do highlight you do consume more calories over the weekend maybe we have to reduce the calories Monday to Friday just to compensate again for Saturday and Sunday this can be exactly the same on a basis of four weeks so if you know that at the end of a month or at the end of a four-week period with work you've got a very stressful week coming up because it's just before payday or whatever, it might mean that the three weeks prior to that week, we are gradually decreasing those calories even further just to compensate for the additional calories we're gonna get through a stressful week. Like I say, the main thing is just being organized. So then with your calorie deficit, when you've maybe started to hit a plateau, then we focus on the proteins. So you're gonna remain in a calorie deficit, but then you're gonna try and increase your protein amount. So then we're gonna add additional factors in to help speed up the fat loss. This might be something like setting targets, so going for a walk twice a week, just anything to increase your activity level slightly so we're burning more calories. The main thing with fat loss is ensuring that it's sustainable. As with clients when they come to me with fat loss, they drop a lot of body fat. I don't want them suddenly putting it on because I haven't learned anything about the lifestyle changes or I haven't made slight adjustments to make sure I can keep that up when they've left my services. And I think that's my big issue with uh, meal replacements and companies like Slimming World and Weight Watchers, is because they're not actually really teaching you too much about your diet. They're just ensuring you're in a calorie deficit, but as soon as you leave their services or come off their product, then you're just gonna pile the weight back on because you haven't actually learned to make small changes. I want the process to be as enjoyable as possible because otherwise you're just gonna end up losing motivation and again, you're just gonna stop after a couple of week period. So including your favorite foods in it, still allows you to enjoy eating without putting unhealthy tags on foods such as sins and it also means you're not completely starving your body and dreading coming to eat. There are loads of other things that can massively increase the rate of fat loss such as completely tracking your macros, so tracking your protein, your fats and your carbs. But I train six times a week and even I really can't be bothered tracking my foods every single day. So I can't really expect clients to be able to do that. 
especially when they've got additional stresses such as family life, work life, that are going to have an impact. Another method with your diet with speeding up fat loss is also a keto diet. It's a ridiculously difficult diet, it's where you drop your carbs to 20 grams a day and it's not for the faint hide. But I'll always give my client which option they want to go with, whether they want to trap the food, whether they want to go keto or whether they just want to be in a calorie deficit. Something else to massively consider is how frequency of training affects your fat loss. But along with frequency, it's also the type of training you do. Essentially, the more times you train in a week, it's going to speed up your metabolism and it's also going to speed up your fat loss. But I'm a massive advocate of resistance training because increasing your lean muscle mass will then increase your metabolism by increasing your basal metabolic rate, which means you're burning more calories at a resting state. That's why when you drop to lower body fat percentages, it's a lot easier to maintain because by now your metabolism is very very quick. So for a lot of people, fat loss can be quite a scary subject to think about. But all that's needed is basic lifestyle changes to help you be in that calorie deficit. And my job as a personal trainer is to help you get the most out of your training, educate you slightly on your diet so that the results are a lot more sustainable for when you leave me. Essentially, I'm helping you put your foot in the door. So my challenge for you over the next week is to construct a food diary and highlight yourselves where you're potentially going wrong. Your fitness journey is personal and specific to you. So it's all about improving your knowledge and adapting a plan which can fit and suit your lifestyle. So that's the end of the video guys and I hope that this video helps you to get the most out of your fat loss journey. So once again, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, leave this video with a like and I'll see you next time. Peace!